Good afternoon and this is Guinea Aneja and this is your numerology and tarot reading for the month of November. For all those who have the sun in Taurus, moon in Taurus or uh, ascendant as Taurus. For example, our India's ascendant is Taurus. So this is not for India. We'll do it in the evening. But uh, anybody who is a Taurian in this respect. So let's begin with relationships. Okay, your relationships are blessed. Everything is peaceful. Everything is divine. There's nothing to worry about, thankfully. And wow, secret admirer and all of Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Find out, find out who is this who has secret feelings for you and your secret admirer. Find out and enjoy that relationship. Health-wise, you need to work on your health. There are certain issues. There may be uh, minor surgery or something that you may need. Um, so get your checks done and please, before any surgery, please call me and talk to me once because, uh, if you can avoid it, why not? Right. Uh, otherwise nothing much. I mean, just work on your diet and just make sure that you're eating the right, uh, diet and on time and the right thing. So, and if you don't know what is the right diet for you, uh, you remember I did a live with Simi Khanna. She is a clinical dietitian. You can go back to my YouTube or my Instagram and check out that live. Um, release your emotions. Angels want you to let go of all the negative emotions in your life as they are binding you and only making you weaker. Stored negative emotions will only increase in frequency and impact. So it's basically your negative emotions that are giving you a stomach problem. Okay, this is too tiny. You won't be able to see it. So it's basically uh, that you are taking a lot of stress. You have a lot of stored negative emotions. So when you have stored negative emotions, it's not a good idea to store them. You may not want to say it aloud or say it to the people. For example, uh, you know, you may have some negative emotions about your parents, about your siblings. Write it down. Write it in a letter. Write them a letter. You don't need to give them the letter if you don't want to. Just write it in red ink and flush it or burn it. You know, that's what you need to do. Release all those emotions that are there inside you. Just release it. Don't keep them stored because it will give you an upset stomach. It will, it may cause you constipation. It may cause you all kinds of health issues. Not needed. Really. Doesn't mean that you have to go and fight with someone or you have to tell them off. But write it down. Finance-wise, work-wise, you're going to be so busy that you're going to earn a lot of money, obviously. That's why you're going to be busy. You're going to be doing acrobatic busy. So there's nothing to worry about as far as finance and work is concerned. But that does not mean that you become a workaholic and ignore your health and your relationships. Because... You know, everything may be divine and beautiful, but that doesn't mean that you ignore your family, ignore your relationships or ignore your own health. Everybody needs time for themselves. Me time, me time, everybody needs it. Take it. Don't become a workaholic. Learn to delegate responsibilities to people. Because if you don't do that, then you'll fall sick. And... दूसरों का काम अपने सर पे लेने के बजाय ना उनको उनका काम करने दो और आप अपना काम करो। So that is important and uh, the angel card guidance is clear sentience. Archangel Raguel says notice your notice your physical and emotional recurring 
physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. It's all about feelings. Historians are anyways very emotional people. They, they're ruled by Venus, right? And if I'm not wrong, I think Venus is right now in Scorpio. So um, it's, it's all about feelings and emotions. Release your emotions. And uh, they signify divine guidance. So divine guidance, secret admirer, divine guidance. Although I read cards for relationship, health, finance, but understand whatever guidance is coming or whatever cards you're going uh, getting, they're all related to each other. It does not mean that if I'm reading it for relationship or if I'm reading it for finance, it is not going to reflect on the other areas of your life. It will. Because it's all one reading for that one sign. So they're all connected. All right. Thank you so much. And uh, if you like it, please do like, comment or and don't forget to share it. And do watch the other two in case this is your sun sign. You can uh, watch the other moon sign and ascendant sign video as well. And uh, in case you happen to need uh, guidance, I'm always open to readings. You can message me on my social media or you can call me on plus nine one as in whatsapp message me on plus nine one eight one zero double eight seven two one three one becomes a little easier for both of us isn't it thank you so much and 